So what's going on guys, we're here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I got another case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I have it right here from a company called Banks and this is the Aramid Fiber case. So if you've been a long time viewer of the channel, a long time follower of the channel, you have known that I actually reviewed Banks cases in the past. For the iPhone 12 series, I actually reviewed two of the cases. One was the Aramid Fiber case, similar to what I have right here and also another super thin and lightweight case. And I found their products to be pretty satisfactory. So this time around, they actually came and asked me whether I wanted to review their products. So I was like, why not? You know, since uh, their products are pretty good and something I can recommend to you guys, especially those guys on the budget. So I asked them to go ahead and send the case so I can actually test it out and give you my honest opinion. This is not a paid review, so I'm actually able to say the good as well as the bad of their case right here. So bear in mind, this is actually the non MagSafe version. So there will be a MagSafe version coming soon. They initially supposed to send the MagSafe version, but however, they got some certification issues. You know, Apple being Apple, uh, they're pretty strict with their certification. But anyways, the case will come soon and I'll be re-reviewing that case, of course, with the MagSafe functionality. But this case in my testing is actually thin and light enough that MagSafe is not really affected. Of course, you do lose some... Uh, grip with the MagSafe but it doesn't really affect like MagSafe charging but if you're using MagSafe accessories then yes this case is something you have to reconsider and instead wait for the MagSafe version all right so enough talking if you haven't subscribed to this channel already do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you get notified on the latest videos which I post and I try to put out as much content as I can within the week on Wednesdays and Fridays usually so without further ado let's get right into the unboxing and review of the Banks Aramid Fiber case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Alright guys, so before I start the video, uh, I did use this case for around almost a week, I should say, almost a week. And I already have gathered my thoughts about this case. So I'll be talking about that right after the unboxing. And they're also having their Black Friday sale, so you can get a case like this probably for 50% off. And the best part is that you can actually stack my discount code on top of your purchase on top of their uh, discount so you can get a really good deal with their cases so i'll be sharing with you guys the code at the end of this video so let's quickly get through the unboxing so let's take a look at the packaging as usual so on the top you get bank's logo you get a glimpse of the case itself you can see it's for the iphone 13 pro max and these are the features of this case full cover protection precise hole position as well as tough and anti-drop so basically that's it and then you have a small little tab to pull quickly get that pulled out so I actually sealed it back so I can show you how you're going to be receiving the package all right so all you get is actually the case itself so there's nothing else nothing fancy no thank you card no like product information stuff like that so this case is honestly really really nice feel in the hand all right let's take a look at the fiber itself you can see this is actually uh, pretty um, noticeable texture and also you can feel the bumps on the weaves of the aramid fiber so overall it's a very nice case you do see some oil stains which i'll be talking about later and the cutouts are basically spot on i should say so you can see the insides insides has lesser texture than the back but that's good because you do not want a rough texture touching the back of your device all right let's take a look at the inside so we are not talking about drop protection here we are just talking about maximum scratch protection so do not keep your hopes too high if you do drop your device i mean i have to be honest with you guys let's get the phone installed i do like to go in on the side with more material so i'm stepping it on the power button side first let's do it right here super simple and easy and that's it let's take a look at the cutouts i do have a lens protector and there is a bump right here to protect your camera lenses of course i with the addition of this camera lens protectors you're going to be seeing that it pops out slightly ever so slightly okay so let's take a look at the bottom you can see that the cutouts are really spot on this has an ad added advantage over co other competitors because it does have the top and bottom covers so yeah but of course it does have a pretty eye saw cutout right here on the top as well because the case does have to flex if you want to remove it so it's easier to remove so let's take a look at the left side you can see the cutouts basically the one big cutout and on the right side your power button there's like no restrictions at all because there's no like extra buttons on top 
so it's pretty good all right guys so let's talk about what i like about this case from banks is number one the price i think it is priced very competitively so you can see right here on their website that is priced at 124 ringgit and 99 cents which is basically 125 ringgit and i think for such a material uh if you know aramid fiber i do love the aramid fiber material because it's not only elegant it is also very tough i should say it's a very tough material so another thing which i do like about this case is the fit and finish i think the fit and finish on this case is really good for a case price around this price range and i think uh, they really have uh, met with my expectations on a thin case and i think this is uh, really really nice to hold in the hand because the sides here are very nice and are not sharp only sharp points are actually the top edges so that's something that uh, all hard cases have in common they are pretty rough on the top edges so what i do not like about this case is the oil marks similar to the other competitor is that it's pretty hard to clean off that's my honest opinion i've tried using a wet cloth and it doesn't really seem to do the job i think it's like really really hard to clean off you can see right here i'm actually trying to rub it it's like imprinted into the case so that's definitely a trade-off uh, when it comes to this kind of finishing so another thing which i do not like is if you take a look right here you can see that there are bumps on the camera lens uh box right here is something that i think is nitpicking at the same time but it's something which i think they can do better in the future when it comes to like manufacturing the case so that's something they can look into other than that i think this case is something that i can recommend because of the price and the fit and finish i think you're not going to be disappointed especially if you do not want to spend uh, a lot of money on a thin case this definitely gets the job done i'm not sure how much the maxi version of this case is going to cost but so far i've not been given any price regarding the maxi version but when it comes out i'll definitely be reviewing it as well as giving you the actual price all right so if you guys are interested in this case there is a 50 percent site-wide discount for black friday and on top of that you can use my discount code dtr15 to get 15 percent off your purchase through their website so it's pretty good i'll be leaving the link in the description below so you can actually click right into their website and purchase one for yourself if you're interested in conclusion i do definitely recommend this case but before we end the video i would like to show you guys that it works with magsafe so i do have my magsafe hooked up you can see right here it just works magsafe works but of course you're not going to be expecting like it to be like super firm on the on the device because the case does not have magsafe so you can see right here the phone will just drop off but other than that if you're just putting it on the bedside at night you're not going to have any issues with like aligning the phone but of course you're not going to be expecting this to have a very strong grip if you're using like the magsafe wallet or the magsafe battery pack that you should look for the magsafe version of this case which will be coming out soon all right so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys liked it if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video